Well, sure, maybe in his name, but our next guest is heading away from dry land for one very long paddle. Mike Shorman first told us about his goal of paddle boarding across all five Great Lakes just a few months ago here on Your Morning. And now well, he's got just one more to go, Lake Ontario. When he finishes and reaches his uh, hometown of Toronto on Saturday, he will be the first person with a disability to paddleboard between two countries. But this isn't just about making history, it's also about making a difference. We are so happy to welcome Mike back to the show this morning. How do you feel? <laughs> I, I feel tired, yes. but, uh, <laughs> but excited. I am, I am so excited for you. Um, you were diagnosed with Ramsey Hunt syndrome in 2018. We, we highlighted some of your story a few months ago. It cost you your business. Yeah. It cost you your, in some ways, it cost you your mental health. You went from running a paddle boarding business, fit, active, yeah. to the state that brought you to a mental health crisis where you needed intervention. Yeah, no, it definitely changed, uh, definitely changed my life. I think, you know, we've all learned about Justin Bieber this summer yeah. uh, and what he went through. Um, you know, it's a mild condition or it can go from mild to extreme. Unfortunately, I had the extreme version of it. Yeah. Um, so I spent the better part of a year learning how to walk um, and develop vertigo and vision and, and hearing impairments. And, um, but, you know, on the, on the other side of all of that, we're, we're here now and, and I'm trying to get this done this weekend. So um, yeah, I'm doing it to put mental health, raise money to put mental health programs in schools here in Ontario and, and across Canada. And critical now more than ever as we continue to see studies and have conversations about the mental health crisis, especially for young people in our country. Absolutely. So when I was going through my experience, I, I, I shut down. I didn't communicate how I was doing. I, I said, I'm okay, I'm fine. And I think we all we all do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we all say we're okay, and, and sometimes we're not. Um, and for those who, who are not, um, sometimes it's a fine line between you know, not being okay and not being here. So this is to, to help those and to help Jack.org you know, continue the great work that they do. Yeah, Jack.org is an amazing organization. You know, when I look at you, Mike, and I can't help but smiling because I remember <laughs> talking about this trip when it was just a vision. Yeah. And now you've done the most of it. How does that feel? Uh, it's emotional. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, these were grueling, not just crossing the lakes, but finding boats <laughs> oh. to do it, finding charters, um, finding a guy in Wisconsin who is willing to take me across Lake Superior um, to, to Minnesota. Um, finding a, a boat captain in Chicago was incredibly hard. Um, and then getting to all these places and then trying to cross them. It, it's, been, it's been a long road, but um, no, I've, I've learned a lot and I have an amazing team and I love the people that are, that are helping me and people are pledging and, and it's, it's amazing. The symbol of that, symbolism of that is really strong, having to push through to find the help that you need. Yeah. Um, you start at 4 p.m. tomorrow in Youngstown, New York, and this means you'll be paddling through the night. How do you cope? with the exhaustion, but also just the physical aspects of it being the night. So this is my third overnight crossing I've done uh, with the with the 28 hour crossing of Lake Huron and the 27 cro hour crossing of Lake Michigan. Um, you know, I've got a few overnights under under my belt, um, but no, my, my teams talk to me to try to keep me as alert and safe through the night as possible. Sometimes we play games, sometimes. Oh, really, like what games do you play? Cause you're uh, paddling. Who, who's a barnyard ant, uh, let's go through the entire boat and you know allocate which barnyard animals each one is or they just try to talk to me and try to keep me as, as alert. Sometimes we have deep conversations, sometimes we just, they tell jokes or, or sometimes they just play really loud music to try to keep me awake. I am, we're gonna be cheering you on in our Thank hearts and in, and in our minds this weekend and we are there with you as you are paddling through the night to reach your goal on Thank, Saturday. Thank you. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.